The WAM 108T is a multiband wireless detector for detection and logging of all types of RF signals. It features eight separate RF detectors operating simultaneously to give complete RF coverage. One 0 to 14 gigahertz detector, five cellular 2G, 3G and 4G detectors, and two Wi-Fi Bluetooth detectors on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. It detects all types of RF devices, audio, video, mobile phones, smartphones and GPS trackers, devices that transmit SMS text, GSM bugs, 3G, 4G video, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi devices. Wideband detection range of 0 to 14 gigahertz is the highest detection coverage of any portable RF detector on the market, detecting analog and digital signals. It features a separate 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz detector for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, video and other latest generation devices. Inside the package we have the main WAM108T unit. We have the three standard antenna, the 2.45 gigahertz antenna for Wi-Fi devices, the cellular antenna for the five cellular bands and the wideband detector for 0 to 14 gigahertz. We also have a directional antenna for pinpointing signals. We also have the international power supply and charger with connectors for the United Kingdom, the United States and Europe and a USB data stick for downloading stored scans. Here we have the main screen of the WAM108T. On the top left of the screen we have the time, on the top right of the screen we have the battery level indicator and just here we have the sensitivity level which is currently set to maximum. On the left hand side of the screen we have the wideband detector channel which will detect anything in the 0 to 14 gigahertz range. That's through this long antenna here. In the middle of the screen we have the five cellular bands which are for anything mobile phone based device such as phones, GPS trackers etc with the five frequencies that those devices use all detected through this antenna and on the right of the screen we have the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi channels for any devices that use Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or other 2.4 gigahertz devices and that's detected through this antenna here. Here we have a detected signal on 800 megahertz cellular. The signal is also being shown on the wideband channel. And the frequency is being counted there, 800 megahertz. That's actually from a mobile phone, which I'm holding in my hand. The detected signal can also be shown as an audio beep tone if required, or the unit can be set to silent vibrate mode also. The WAM108 will also store all detected signals. As you can see on the screen here, we have a list of detected signals with the event, the date, the time of the signal occurrence, the frequency of the signal, the signal strength from 1 to 20 and the duration of the signal. So for example, we have a signal on the 7th of March 18 at 4.37pm on 1 GHz, signal strength of 13 and a duration of 9 seconds. Also on the same day, subsequently one on 900 megahertz, which would be cellular, signal strength of 20 and a duration for three seconds and so on. So in graph mode, we have all the detected bands on the left hand side of the screen. The start time on the left, which is currently 1.15 and the end time, which is 1.23. So we have an eight minute window scrolling from left to right along the screen. Any detected signals will be plotted on the screen scrolling along. So as you can see currently we have detections being picked up on the wideband screen and the 2400 megahertz screen which is Wi-Fi. If I make a call on a mobile phone you will also see the signal will start to appear on the other band. So now we're now getting the signal on 800 megahertz also which is the 4G signal from a mobile phone. The product also features a separate 2.4 GHz screen where differentiation can be made between different types of signals within that band. It will show you Bluetooth signals, 2.4 GHz devices, Wi-Fi or video or audio continuous. As you can see at the moment, we're picking up the Wi-Fi signal from the local area, which is being plotted on the central screen. If we then activate a 2.4 GHz wireless video transmitter, 
That will also be shown as a different signal on the bottom of the screen under the video audio continuous section. The live signal strength will be shown here. As you can see, as we approach with the camera, the stronger the signal will get. If we switch the signal off, the signal is lost and we're now only detecting the Wi-Fi again. Here we have the settings menu where you have an option to go to the main screen, power off, set time and date, view the data log of stored detected signals, erase the log, volume control for audio demodulation, beep on off, silent vibrate on off, panel light on off for working in dark conditions, and band selection for switching bands on and off as required. We're now back in the main screen and we have the audio demodulation switched on so you can see the speaker symbol at the top of the screen. The sound you're hearing is any demodulated signals that the device can pick up. If we switch on an audio listening device, you will see the signal being shown on the screen on 399 megahertz. And if I speak into this device, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you can actually hear the audio from the device coming through the speaker. And that's the actual device that we're picking up. If required, the audio demodulation can be heard through the earphones supplied and any data can be stored through the USB stick port on the side of the unit.